What's up, people? You have found the KO Report, and I'm Scott Killian. Today, I wanted to do another review on a Hoka shoe. This is another new line of shoe for me, and I'm gonna let you know if it's a KO or just okay. Stick around. Thanks for checking out another edition of the KO Report. I'm glad you're here. My last review of a Hoka Bondi 7 just has been phenomenal. I don't want to say it's exploded. It's definitely not went viral. But for me, on a shoe, it has gotten a lot of reviews. Honestly, it was my first pair of Hokas ever, and I absolutely loved them. I was wearing them every day for work, but with my job, I'm in and out of shops quite a bit and the white sole on the bottom of those uh, bondies, hard to keep clean, and I want to keep my kicks looking good. So I wanted to uh, explore another option in the Hoka line to try out. And I went to my local store, and they didn't have anything that was like a solid black. So I went to the website, they referred me to the website, and I went there, and what I found was generic, but decent. And it is the Hoka, Let's see if I can pronounce this correctly. I'm terrible at pronouncing things. Uh, Gaviota, Gaviota. You can see here, the Gaviota. And these are a plain black shoe. Uh, the Hoka is in a, a slightly lighter color and it has the, the wing uh, look here. And I did wear these, I've tried these probably for about a week and a half, which I thought would be a good break in period. My Bondies didn't necessarily need a break-in. Uh, similar to the Bondies, there is a pretty thick uh, sole and cushion here, and wearing them was not bad. They were, they were not uncomfortable on my feet, but throughout the day, I realized if I was doing a lot of walking or a lot of driving where my, my heel's kind of setting here, it just wasn't comfortable. It wasn't uncomfortable, it just wasn't very comfortable. And one of the things I noticed with the line going up through here, about the time I would get to this area, if I was walking in a uh, gravel parking lot, I'd pick up pebbles and I'd have to either scoop my foot across the floor to scrite it back and forth to get the rock to pop out or just reach down and pop it out. Overall, I wasn't happy with them. So um, one of the things with Hoka that is really neat is they have a 30 day guarantee that if you don't like them, you can send them back. So before sending them back, I did go to a, uh, instead of a local store that's a mom and pop on, I went to a Dick Sporting Goods and I found a pair of Bondies, uh, Bondi 7 that are just like my other pair, but solid black. I, I don't, I, I like the look of the other, having the, uh, the actual word Hoka in a, uh, a, a little bit of a lighter setting and then that lighter area here, just kind of give it something to, to look better, but these are by far more comfortable. Uh, once again, I'm wearing these for work. I'm not running. If you see me running, you better run too. Uh, but um, just a shout out to Hoka for the product that they do make. And honestly, doing the return on these, super simple. I ordered them online. So when I pulled up the website, uh, or pulled up the email from where I got it. Uh, I, I linked over to the website, scrolled down, and there's a tab at the bottom that says 30 day return. Clicked on it, entered in my email address, it pulled up my order. So it had my order number, what I paid for on the credit card I used, everything. Um, Click submit a return. It asked me if it was too big, if I you know, made a mistake, by, uh, a mistake in the purchase, whatever the case. I just put, did not meet expectations, which was one of the options. Clicked on the next one and it said, do you want to exchange uh, and for a different size? Do you want to exchange for a different brand or do you just want a full return? Since I had already purchased my others at a bigger retail store, I didn't need to go back and do a, uh, an exchange there. So I just hit return. One of the next options blew me away. I could either print off a label and as you can see, I'm not in what my typical office environment is. I'm on the road in Bowling Green, Kentucky. Uh, so, and I, I, I probably have access to a printer at the hotel downstairs, but 
The other option was they will send you a QR code and I can go to any USPS drop-off point, including post offices, obviously, and show them the code and they print it off and I hand them the box and we're done. And once they get the box back, they said it would be within five days of the return of the product, they would uh, issue a full refund. In conclusion, the Bondi 7 for me is still two thumbs up, a solid KO. I love these shoes. While I was out and bought these, my daughter bought her first pair of Hoka's and loves them. She did not get the Bondi's. I don't know the name brand. It was the name brand of a Hoka, but I don't know what line she got. Uh, the Gaviotas are um, a, a solid shoe. They're not uncomfortable, but at the end of the day, when I took them off, I realized how freeing it was to let my feet out of them. Uh, and it's, it's normal workday environment for me. So there's no big change between that shoe and, and what the Bondi's uh, were doing, whether it's this newer pair or the other pair. But I did give these that week and a half try and uh, just wasn't for me. But um, I'm gonna wrap this up by saying thank you for watching the videos. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. Uh, I appreciate you guys sticking around and, and watching some of these. It means a lot to me. Uh, enjoy your day and have a great one. Take care.